cafe anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hello! Welcome to Mike's Daily Podcast. FF episode 2318. 2318. The show's called Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm Mike Matthews, and this is my show. I'm broadcasting from Cafe Anyway. And you might be saying, hey, 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 what about uh, David Byrne and that lovely lady? Who we have to learn so much from, and that would be the wonderful Lord Mike's Daily Podcast. They did an interview recently. Did you did you catch it? It's on uh, I guess the Rolling Stone website Mike's or on YouTube. Daily fascinating podcast. The two of them discussing yeah all things all things uh, what do you call it music. Yes, they discuss the music world. And you know that Mr. Mr. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm very confused. My my computer went through updates and I'm a, I'm a slightly I'm trying to figure out what I use now to <laughs> Ah, okay. Everything got switched around. I don't even have the new Windows 10 yet. Or 11. I do have the Windows 10. Thank you. But somehow, everything's gotten... Does this change my volume? Ah, that's better. Okay, so, yeah. Some of you are like, Mike, I don't have Windows 10. I believe in Apple. I am an Apple freak, Mike. I love apples. They're delicious. And I've got a bunch in my backyard right now. And they keep falling. And then they... I, I... I pick them up and I eat them and I maybe shouldn't because there's little black spots on them and I I eat the apple and I look and there's this big trail system happening starting at the surface of the apple going to the center very James and the Giant Peach so I don't know if I should be eating these apples therefore I don't know regarding your website hope you're doing well your website's backlinks quality is not good backlinks and here's today's podcast picture but Thank you, Paul. Guess what? You're spam now. You're spam to me. Because I didn't even ask. <laughs> Why are you telling me these things when I didn't even ask? Spam. The podcast picture today is another one from the trip. Let's go back to Daytona Beach for a wonderful podcast picture from there. See it at mikesdailypodcast.com. Such a wonderful trip. Basil the Boxer met my mother, but did not actually get to go to Daytona Beach. But he would have loved it, the late great Basil the Boxer. Yes, because it, it's a lovely area. And my mom, I guess, you know, it's the whole traveling with dogs thing. That's a little difficult. Not every, Not everyone can do it. And I would suggest that if you are going to do it, uh, that you, you do it with the smaller dog. The big dogs don't quite understand. The smaller dogs are with you, hanging out in the cabin, and everything's good. But yes, a podcast picture from Daytona Beach. All right. So, oh, it's raining. Forgive me. I'm a little bit all over the place today. Oh, how is that different than usual? Not really. Oh, Lord. Lord and Dave. Oh, Lord. David Byrne and Lord. That's Lord with an E. We're talking about music, and David Byrne really appreciated Lord's music because it's so stripped down. It's just the basics. A little bit like, uh, what was that one song? The, the one you know, Royals, right? It's just the drum, right? Millennial, right? It's the drum and a little bit of the synthesizer going, wow, wow, wow. And then her vocals all over the place. And David Byrne said that I learned a lot from that song. The way you did it. And David Byrne, the lead singer of Talking Heads. Letting the days go by. Let the water hold me down. Letting the days go by. Water flowing underground. Into the blue again. In the money's gone. Once in a lifetime. Money flowing. It's a wild, wild life. All the way to the stock exchange. Whoa! Got some wild, wild... He sang about money a lot, didn't he? 
Take me to the river. He didn't write that one. Drop me in the water. Got to, yes. And I can't. Uh, oh, um, we're on a road to know. And she was David Byrne. And the two of them speaking, it's fun. And Lord is tall. She looks taller than David. You go, Lord. I hope you have a long, illustrious career just like the David Byrne has. Hey, back to me, because it's always about me. Um, we're talking about podcasts. We're talking about podcast pictures. See it at MikeStillyPodcast.com. And that's my website, MikeStillyPodcast.com. And we spoke in a recent podcast. Let's see. We, we had a podcast picture, by the way, in the last podcast of the, uh, the Dallas Dallas, the Dallas area. And you can see that picture at mikesdailypodcast.com. Yes, the beautiful buildings in downtown Dallas. Uh, I was there just, uh, what? Last week. Gosh. A week ago, we were just coming back. Now I remember. But yes, we had a wonderful time and, 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 and hung out with some great people. Here's the thing. It's a tough world. And I know, with all the stuff going on, I certainly wouldn't get in a plane now. Even though it was just a week ago I was in a plane. I had such a horrible experience. The last, the last day of flying was terrible. With them putting me next to a woman who was hacking up a lung. To just no, no space, no room, and being stuck out on the tarmac all that time. No, I'm not a fan. But, you know, if you want to see your family, you got to you gotta fly. And I don't like that gas is getting so, so expensive. In Texas, it was either 287 or 387, I forget. But here, it is now like 437, at least. It's nuts. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike Staley podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. The last place on earth, cafe anyway. Taking in a positive mood like joy, awe, or a feeling of love and safety not only feels good, but if you marinate for a few moments in that feeling, you consciously internalize positive feelings into your unconscious memory, counteracting your primate brain's hardwired negativity bias. You have the power to do this at every age. What are you feeling? Name it to tame it. Where are you feeling it in your body? Bringing attention to feelings and their associated body sensations allows you to use mindfulness. <laughs> Mike just slowed down immensely. In the midst of his podcast, he slowed down immensely. Almost as if he was a record player that was being pulled the power from. Thusly. It's alright, everything's fine. But that's what it's like if you lose your positivity. And mindfulness. So you need bringing attention to feelings and their associated body sensations allows you to use mindfulness to step into awareness and out of the intensity of emotion. Place your hands in the air like you just don't care. Place your hands where you feel worry manifesting itself. Send soothing thoughts to that area, calming your nervous system. And use mindfulness to get grounded. When thoughts and feelings run rampant through your brain, it's easy to feel panicked, stressed, or overwhelmed. Use mindfulness to get grounded and tap into your inner calm. Put your feet on the ground and send your attention down to the soles of your feet. You thought I was going to go all Casey Kasem on you, but still... You need to send attention down to the soles of your feet. How do they feel? 
Are you in socks and shoes, barefoot? Are your feet cold or warm, moist or dry? Focusing mindfully like this can turn you away from chaotic thoughts and emotions and towards feelings grounded in your body. Cook and eat mindfully. I'm actually cooking right now. Did you know that? No, because I didn't say anything. And I'm at cafe anyway, and I'm outside somewhere in Podcastro Valley. So how would you know, really, I guess? But yes, I am cooking now. Because it's about 7.52 on a Wednesday night, and I'm hungry. Therefore... Be mindful about the whole process, from slicing your food to putting it in your mouth and chewing it. When you are cutting veggies or stirring a pot of soup, feel the utensil in your hand. See the colors of the food. Smell the aromas. Listen for any crackling or sounds. Get your senses involved in the experience. When it's time to take a bite, notice how the food tastes and consider the journey the food took from growing in the ground to making it all the way to your door. If you can keep your attention on the process, even if for only two or three minutes, you will be giving your brain a much needed break from stress and this crazy, crazy world. There is much you can't control in terms of how the pandemic plays out over time but you can do but you do have control over the choices you make around well-being and mindfulness to your new safety and wellness way of life if you add mindfulness to your new safety and wellness way of life you'll strengthen your immunity while you build up emotional resilience studies have shown that stress weakens the immune system not a fact to take lightly The strain of continual stress can contribute to conditions like heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, depression, and anxiety, even in normal times. Now throw in a pandemic, we're all doing the best we can to stay safe and healthy, but stress may be quietly undermining our efforts. Hey, and now we got all this political stress. Wearing a mask is wrong. Getting the vaccine is wrong. All this back and forth, all this stress that you don't need. Cast it away. It might be undermining our efforts. In addition to tactics like washing your hands, which you should do and keep doing, no matter what happens with this pandemic, if it eventually gets completely controlled and obliterated from existence, like we did with polio once upon a time. Although, wait, I guess there's still sometimes there's some cases, but still, here, what I'm saying is, In addition to tactics like washing your hands and covering your nose and mouth in public, you need an active tool for combating immune compromising stress. And that's where mindfulness comes in. And practice gratitude by writing down what you enjoyed today and what you are grateful for today in a journal or maybe a podcast that you can keep on your bedside or near your toothbrush. Writing down these experiences causes a positive feedback loop in your brain. It's a tremendous well-being booster. Was any of that helpful? Did any of that ring true to you? Let me know. 336MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews daily isn't what this podcast will try to continue to be. I've been uh, missing a day or two here and there this week. Uh, I get an interrupted as you know. But I'm doing the best I can. 336MM daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6MM as in Mike Matthews. Daily isn't what this podcast has in its title. Look who's here. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Kelly. You had to get Jeff Supervisor. Oh, my gosh. That was, like, so helpful, Mike Matthews. You're welcome. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, what I suggest is that you do another podcast about how people can get through life with no sleep at all (laughs) that's the opposite of what i do on this podcast i talk about how you need sleep it's impossible to get sleep in today's world with so much going on but we need to do the best we can get in that bed at least for six hours try and get some sleep 
or meditate or something. We've done podcasts on that. Look up the title on mikesdailypodcast.com sleep and I'm sure it'll pop up somewhere. And it'll be helpful to you. But uh, thank you to the Costco Connection yet again for this wonderful article that I pulled from it. All right. I think I might actually be done with this Costco Connection issue, which came out in April of this year. I've gotten so much out of this one particular issue. It's amazing. Hey, next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. Tell your friends about the podcast. Make sure they know about it because if they don't, they're sad and they're ignorant. No, they're sad and they need to hear it and and go to cafe anyway and take this lovely journey out here somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Okay, I think I'm done. I got to run back into the cafe anyway and finish cooking what I'm cooking. What am I cooking? It's something very healthy. It's no, it's not. It's just I'm trying to make a turkey burger. Wish me luck. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.